I want to grow my hair from my back to my crack. It took a while for me to build a routine and stay consistent, but by doing so, I will reach my goal this year. My regimen must be airtight to retain every single centimeter of hair I grow. Every day counts, so I'm going to show you some things I do daily to promote hair growth, retain moisture, to retain length. And since length retention is the game, stay tuned to the end where I do my monthly length check to see how much I grew and retained. So welcome to a typical week in my hair. For my last week in my hair video, I stretched my hair so I can see how bad my ends are. Spoiler alert, they're not as good as I wanted to be, but we'll talk about that later on in this video. After I stretched my hair, I put them in these twists to prepare for the next day to keep my hair stretched. And y'all, life has been lifing. This was supposed to be another week in my hair, but it turned out being a whole month. Hope you enjoy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair for today. I wanna do four braids going to the back. I think that might be cute for like the next two weeks because I'm not gonna be doing my hair for two weeks. Because next time I do my hair, I'm going to wash, deep condition, and I'm going to give myself a good cut. But I do have other places to go to. We're in the process of selling our house and buying a bigger one. I don't know what I want to do with my hair. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and drink me some butterfly pea flower tea and just kind of like ponder on it. It's so crazy how my hair looks dense in certain aspects. When it's blowing out like this, oh, the fact that my hair is fine. It's very evident. Honestly, I would rather the thickness over length. Am I tripping? I can't stress this enough. Butterfly pea flower is amazing. Has amazing health benefits. If you have not watched my last week in my hair video, please do yourself a favor, check it out, or at least research butterfly pea flower benefits. You're probably actually going ahead and purchase butterfly pea that day. Anyway, so I'm super excited. It is now a week later. I yeah, I said six days, it's actually seven days. Remember how I couldn't decide what style to do? I actually did this cute little box braid style. It probably would have been cuter if it was like had extensions, but this is how I did it. And yeah, as you can see by my face, my ends, not really happy with it. So I'm gonna show you three treatments that I'm going to do to help remedy my terrible ends. They're not super terrible. It's terrible enough for me. I know I said that once I put this style in, I wasn't gonna wash my hair for another like two weeks, but y'all, when I say my scalp was dry, it was dry as fuck. Even like combing and brushing my scalp felt super, super good. So yeah, I had to take these plaits out. So instead of like unraveling all the plaits and just leaving to my hair to wash freely, I like to wash my hair in twists. So if you are new here, we wash our hair in twists over here. While I appreciate your suggestions, Clips don't work for me. Scrunchies don't work for me. I have to wash my hair and twist to keep the tangles at bay. My hair is super fine and so it's fine and it's long and it likes to tangle amongst itself. I ain't got time for that. Clips don't work. I appreciate you, but clips do not work. So I'm just brushing out the plaits one by one and I'm twisting up that section. I am being very careful with the detangling, but it's actually really easy to tangle because my hair is already pre-stretched. Remember, I had initially stretched my hair and then from the stretch style, I went in with the braided style. Oh, to shampoo my hair, I'm diluting the TGIN Strengthening Miracle Shampoo. And the reason why I'm diluting it is because my hair is already stretched, so it's not really a lot of oils on my scalp and my scalp is super dry. I just wanna get some moisture to it. I don't wanna strip it more than it really is. So I'm diluting my shampoo. I am washing my hair how I normally wash it in the twist. I think I, I'm not sure if I took out the twist while I was washing it this day, but I did still wash my hair in those twists. In the follow-up, I used the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. This stuff is the truth. Love it, I've been using it for years now, and I probably will use it for years to come. Honey is a humectant, and it just like draws in that moisture, and my hair just feels so amazing. My hair loves honey. When I deep condition my hair, I like to use a plastic bag or a saran wrap, and I'm reusing a plastic bag I have to wash the bag because it's used. Like we put the groceries that's in the store in it. I don't know where them groceries been, where there's cans or whatever the case may be. It's been in a cart. And so, yeah, I'm not sure if y'all seen that research, but there's like fecal matter on the shopping cart. So I did let the deep conditioner sit for 30 minutes. I actually sat under the dryer for 10 and I let it sit for another like 20 minutes without the dryer and rinsed it out. My hair felt super moisturized. I decided to stretch my hair and I'm going to talk about why I'm stretching my hair later on in the video instead of hair drying like I normally do. So stay tuned a little more towards the end.
although I'm not putting in the medium plaits, it still did take me a while to do these plaits for some reason. And I know what you're saying, Shartia, why don't you just do the medium plaits? No, because a week from now, I am going to be stretching my hair again and give myself a good trim or cut, whatever you want to say. We're using scissors to cut off some of them split ends that I see. And thankfully, Olaplex actually came out with a new product. It's called the Olaplex Number no. 5 Leave-In. It's supposed to moisturize and mend split ends, you guys. I'm going to do a dedicated video on this stuff. When I say it is amazing, it is amazing. I wash my hair as normal with the shampoo and then I conditioned afterwards using the conditioner. I let it sit for three minutes, like I said, but I think I actually let it sit for five minutes. When I say a little goes a long way, I use one pump on basically most of my head. I end up using like two pumps or so, but y'all, the detangling, the slip on this stuff is amazing. And I think it's really because my hair is it's wet like it's soaking wet i just took out i just rinsed out the conditioner and so like it's wet and it's prepped for styling this stuff you can actually use a dime with and as you can see i've been using olaplex for a while now and the shrinkage is coming back my shrinkage has left i don't know where it went but it left out the dough but it's coming back as you can see i have some shrinkage so stay tuned for the dedicated review of the number five it is soon to come hopefully spoiler alert like I'm just gonna say I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't see myself straying away from using that stuff. I like to let that product sit before styling because it allows for because it allows for the product to actually penetrate my hair instead of just like sitting on top. The number five also deems as a heat protectant. So I can go in so i went in with low heat using my rev air so i'm using the low setting here and it stretches my hair so nicely so what i'm doing right now is the search and destroy method so once i stretch my hair i'm actually able to see how my ends look and i will literally search for split ends or single strand knots and just cut those off so that is the search and destroy method that's what i do the old me would have just cut it straight across which is awesome if that's something that you want, I don't mind my hair looking a little uneven because it's natural. Our hair grows at different rates, literally like every single strand of our hair grows at different rates. And so it would be unfair for one strand to that's like super healthy and no split ends to be the same short length as a hair strand that's like, I don't know, I have to cut short. I don't see why that should be needed. Or in my case, because my goal is longer hair, um, I don't see why I have to cut everything at the same length. When I look at a section of my hair, if I see that a lot of my hair strands are actually really healthy and it's just a couple like split ends or single strand knots, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those. I'm not here for the aesthetics. I'm just here for length and health. After December the 31st, once I actually see how much I actually grew, I'm going to do a big chop. I'll probably cut like, four inches off or so yeah of course I'm going to see a professional so I can get a professional evaluation and a professional uh, course of action on how I can actually reach my goals now the front of my hair it's severely damaged by heat and so I just said you know what let me just cut it I'm going to cut it off in the in the future anyways let me let me just go ahead and cut it now so I cut a lot off in the front uh, versus like the other parts of my hair and I think it looks so good so I am definitely anticipating and I'm super looking forward to my big chop next year like I hope that makes sense I'm not holding on to dead ends I'm just cutting off what is needed oh and and the next day I got my blood drawn I should have gotten that on camera but I did not I got my blood drawn and I we decided to also go look at some houses and I want to look a little cute for some reason the twists the way I, I tied them down last night they weren't looking good I did four flat twists in the front going back and Put in a bun a nice loose bun i think it's pretty cute let me know what you guys think my twists were looking a little raggedy so i decided to redo them but this time because but this time i decided to do them tighter and as you can see they are definitely tighter they look like extra rope twists so first when i unraveled my twist i finger detangled through just to make sure I get some of the shed hair out first, make sure I remove on any of the tangles before going in with my tangle teaser um, to 
The good thing about the leave-in number five is that it can be used on wet and dry hair. So the dry hair, you just use it on the ends. I did put it up on the rest of my strands too, but it does say focus on the ends. And I use that as a detangler. I don't know how long you guys have been following me on my journey, but the front of my hair was barely touching my eyebrows. And as you can see, it, it ooh, baby, it grew, it grew, it grew, it grew. And that's all because of the vitamins that I've been taking. I'll talk about that later on. But if you're not new here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I redid each twist and I am loving the way that they look. I haven't combed my hair in like a week and she is back. That is not a lot of hair. The hairs are long. Hairs are long, so when it's punched up, yeah, it looks like it's a lot of hair, but look at that. That's that's not a lot of hair at all, right? Y'all, my twist looks so amazing. Look at these. When I say I want world twists, I want every single twist to look exactly like this. These twists are beautiful. Now, if only they were thicker, I want shorty to be thick so hopefully next year my hair will be thicker but then again maybe not because next year i'm gonna be a straight hair natural i'm gonna be a straight hair natural hey i'm gonna be a straight hair natural hey and i said i know i told you guys that i was gonna be doing these plaits mm, but i am in a process of selling my house and buying a house so i haven't had the time to put those plaits in and honestly, I don't know when I'll find the time because it is the middle of September. I have a lot to do. And I've been picking up hella overtime at my job. Oh, she has 100,000 plus subscribers. She must have money. No. This is not my full-time gig. This is something that I've been doing just to share my journey with y'all. These twists look so amazing. Oh, I can't wait for them to be long. Like right here. If my twists were like right here at the side, at my waist, I'm talking about twist. If my twist was at my waist, that would be amazing. Can't tell, is that a... That was a mark, I thought it was on my screen. That's so much better. So sorry. I've been loving Olaplex. I have the shampoo, I've been using the shampoo, I've been using the conditioner. This right here, a little goes a long way when the hair is wet. And I've just been liking it for like treatments. For treatments, I'm definitely gonna stick with Olaplex. And, oh, this sucks because it's so expensive. Damn. I am working with the company and I have to wear my hair out. Ooh. I'm really using oil, I'm gonna run it down the shaft of my ends. And the oil that I'm using is more of a serum. No, it's argan oil. It's a dry oil mist. This right here. Using that, the ends of my hair to help it seal. I don't want it to be a lot of frizzies, basically. So yeah, I think the mend leave-in conditioner is really good as a leave-in treatment temporarily but it's not going to be a complete fix. Ultimately, you still gotta cut the ends, you know? You still gotta cut the ends. Not the twist out that I was going for. I really wasn't going for a twist out, to be honest, but technically these are twists and I'm taking them out. So, twist out. <laughs> because I honestly don't like the way my ends are looking. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the plaits. I have no idea. I can't confirm nor deny. All I know is, it's keeping my length for sure, but the ends. I think that when I have my plaits in, maybe I should oil my hair, but I never oil the ends of my Sorry y'all, the air came on and the audio was sounding like trash. So basically what I was saying is that split ends are caused by multiple factors. One, your bonds are damaged. One of the results of a broken bond is split ends. And so that's what happens. 
It could also be caused by friction. Friction meaning that it's rubbing against some material, whether it be your shoulder, whatever the case may be, it may cause friction and that friction causes breakage on the ends and also split ends. Friction can also be within the hair itself. So with me, I've been wearing my hair in these plaits, but I don't use oil on my ends. And so because I don't use oil on my ends, my hairs are rubbing against itself and because my ends are dry and then it causes my ends to split. So from here on out, I'll be adding oil to my regimen, adding oil to the ends of my hair to prevent it from splitting. Well, my hair is split very fine. So oil tends to like weigh my actual hair down. Like I'll put oil on my scalp, but as far as like putting oil on my hair, you know, it tends to like weigh it down. Um, so this is, this oil is very lightweight. This is meant for people with light, fine hair. If they want some oil, you know, they can spray it on the ends. Well, I can't wait for this heat damage to go away. Look at the roots. Roots are very thick and strands are very not thick. <laughs> oh, let's not start at the root shirts here. Let's start at the ends. Let's also use a tangle teaser. I have been using this tangle teaser. Y'all, this gets my hair untangled like a mug and it's super fast too. We love it, we love it, we love it, we love it. I've been low-key kind of practicing for when I become a straight hair natural and it's the same issue I always have when I blow dry my hair, my scalp be hella dry. Dry. After I finished working on those videos, I wanted to do like a little cute little style, nothing too major. And so we went house shopping this day. I wanted a cute, nice little braided ponytail. So I put my hair back in a ponytail. It wasn't tight like at all. As you can see my roots, like I've been saying for like, I don't know how long, my roots are very thick. And so it's hard to lay it down in comparison to the rest of my hair. And I put in this nice loose, uh, ponytail and I braided my hair. I wanted the braid to be a little thicker than it is, so I separated it, pulled it apart to make it thicker. Yeah, but y'all, I can't believe that is my hair. That is my hair. My scalp is super dry. I wish I had showed you guys before I started doing this, but I have rosemary and fenugreek tea. And oh, I feel so amazing on my scalp. I tell you, no lie, I'm just spraying the littlest amount because it's it's dry, y'all. It's dry, okay? She's like Sahara Desert dry, and this is one of the issues I'ma have when I be a straight hair natural, because my scalp gets so dry so fast. I promise you, if my hair was like let it air dry, this issue would not be a thing. I don't know what it is. Someone tell me what is it? Because it'll make no sense. Kiana is picking up like that is Flake City. Soothe the dryness. What better way to soothe dryness than to spray with some water? But in this case, spray with some tea. And rosemary is known to be antibacterial, antifungal. Same thing as fenugreek. It is the it is a DHT blocker. What did I put on my scalp? I'm like, why is it looking like this? Ooh, cha. So yeah, I was saying like when we spray rosemary or anything like that on our scalp it's best to actually massage it in because otherwise the tea whatever we're spraying our scalp is just going to sit on our scalp and it's not going to be as effective if we were to like actually massage it in get the follicles open you know get the blood flowing so yeah i'm just spraying rosemary and fenugreek tea or water whatever you want to call it on my scalp and i'm massaging it in i have already done the other three sections of my hair um so this is my final one i'm just showing you guys what i did i'll say this one thing you know your hair is getting longer when other people notice same thing like if you're losing weight once other people notice you're losing weight that's when you can say okay yeah i'm definitely losing weight but with my hair my mom was like did your hair grow i was like yeah it did it sure did hey sorry huh? what's today's day it's thursday september 26 2024 it is september 26 and i have not measured my hair i didn't realize it's been a whole month and a couple of days because the last time i measured my hair right here the last time i measured my hair it was august the 19th and so typically i like to measure my hair every 30 days or so 
I'm way past that time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my my Mary Ruth liquid vitamins. I've been consistently taking it for a month now, so we'll see. Because remember the last time I measured my hair, my hair did not grow. A lot of you guys are saying that maybe because I have my hair in those twists and maybe because I haven't really been protective style like I normally do based on my hair being thin. And so I've been consistently taking my vitamins, y'all. Scalp massages. Uh, I've been drinking my teas. I didn't drink a tea this morning, but I'm taking my iron now. So this is the iron. I think this is probably like one last dose and I did not re-up. I totally forgot to re-up on this and I probably have one more left. Oh, I have a little bit left in there. Cheers. When I tell y'all that it's the best tasting iron, love, love, love this stuff. I did get my blood drawn probably like two weeks ago. So I'm waiting on the results. I have to call them back. They called me, but I have to call them back to schedule an appointment to go over my results. And oh my gosh, I am super excited. I'm super excited because I know that because I've been consistently taking my vitamins, except for that like month and a half that I wasn't taking it. <laughs> but we're not talking about that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and spread this on my scalp. And we're also gonna go ahead and measure my hair to see if I grew and see if I retained. Let's go. Okay. I am, oh, let me adjust y'all. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Can y'all see? I don't know why y'all, but <laughs> I am nervous. I am so nervous. Like, <sighs> it's been a month out of me, y'all tired of me. <gasps> okay, okay, because <laughs> It's looking, it's looking good now. Okay, so let me measure. My hair is probably like around right here. That's where I typically. I'm supposed to be washing my hair tomorrow, but I have so much to do, y'all. I have so much to do. Or plaits. They're not technically protective styles because the ends are still visible. Like they're not at all tucked or away. Isn't that interesting? What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? I am curious to know what y'all think. So I have my Rosemary Fenugreek Water and I have my DIY Insane Hair Growth Oil. So I'm gonna put this on my scalp, spray this first, and I'm gonna seal in that moisture and hydration with my oil. Spray, 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 spray. Only a little bit comes out of this. Oh, that went right in my eye. Like right in my eye. Little dab of the oil. Oh, that is a beautiful scalp. Can you see that? All right, so I'm gonna wet it just a little bit. Not with the fenugreek, because fenugreek would make my hair feel. Rosemary, if I put rosemary on my my hair, it'd be making it feel so dry. So last time I measured my hair, y'all didn't think my hair was wet. But the gag is, it was wet. <laughs> I promise you it was wet. I just didn't show you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys now that I'm wetting it. I don't know why. It wasn't soaking wet. I guess that's pr pretty much what it was. I never do it soaking wet because I don't want my hair to take forever to dry. But since I am wetting it a lot more now, um, I'm going to require a blow dryer to dry it. All right, so we are combing this through, making sure all of the tangles are out. Y'all ready? Let me adjust y'all. I have high hopes that this my hair grew and retained. I don't know about y'all, but let's see. All right, now that's that's more like it. That is more like it. That's like, oh, let me come y'all closer. My bad. My bad, y'all. Let me come a little closer so y'all can see. Okay, so. They, oh, wait, maybe it is an inch. Got my marker. I normally actually use conditioner. I don't know. I don't typically wet it for real, for real. I actually use conditioner to help smooth it out. Smooth it out. Um, because it's okay. Right here. So let's do right here. Damn, shorty hair, grew, bitch. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Okay, last month I did not do my routine 
no scalp massages, I didn't take my vitamins, I was dressing, okay? But this month, I ate right, took my vitamins, did my scalp massages. I was able to retain the lint that I was growing, baby! Oh, that makes me so happy. You guys don't understand. Can y'all feel that mother joy through the camera? Oh, I never measured the side. I don't know why. I don't ever measure the side. So my hair used to be like right here. Let me put it to the side. My hair was right here. But now she is, damn, that's at my waist for real, for real. Wow, 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 wow. <gasps> Um, wait, what am I saying? Oh, <laughs> what am I saying? So I've been doing this thing where I don't uh, air dry. Cause I've, I've seen a video where air drying actually damages worse than like heat. And so I have been trying to use, or try not to air dry it. My rev air, I've been trying to use my rev air over anything, you know, instead of air drying. I would use it on like super low heat, or I would um, use it on the cool setting, which dries the hair super fast too. But y'all, y'all don't understand, or maybe y'all do understand. Let me know if you understand my excitement. That's not even a lot of hair that came out. <sighs> Y'all, I am so very shocked that I started off beginning of this year right here, and I am right here. Y'all, that's an inch. That is an inch, that is an inch, that is an Oh! Let's go! That's, a, that's an inch, baby! Ooh! Sorry, I'm just super excited. Okay, bye.